Hello everyone. Welcome everyone to another interesting video. Over the past 10 years, there have been a lot of cyber attack trends. We have seen come and go. Some are pretty regular in terms of being countered from year to year. Browser-based cyber threats have become a one of the biggest concerns facing cybersecurity professionals today. Organizations must implement effective protection from these hard-to-detect attacks. In this video, we are going to see how to use Docker technology for web browser isolation to keep our personal computer secure and prevent the host machine getting infected by clicking malicious URL. Web browsers are the most exposed and they are constantly connecting to the outside world and frequently interacting with the websites and applications that cyber criminals have affected with the malware. Browsers are powerful, data-rich tool that, if compromised, can provide an attacker with a vast amount of information about you, including your address, phone number, credit card, data, email, IDs, passwords, browsing histories, and bookmarks, etc. Some of the web browser based attacks like phishing, crypto jacking, remote shell execution, adware, drive by download, brute force attacks, DOS attacks, denial of service, and list goes on. Chasm Workspace helps us to create a zero trust browser isolation. By the way, it is not a sponsored video. Chasm Workspace is integrated with your existing web browser and provide a seamless user experience. Chasm technology is supporting the open source community. Chasm source is available in various platforms like cloud, docker and on-prem. I'm going to show how to set up a Chasm Workspace Community Edition on-prem. By the way, Community Edition is completely free. Here is the system requirement. So these are the operating systems are supported by Chasm Workspace, uh, Ubuntu 18.0.4, 20.04, and Debian package, CentOS, Oracle Linux, Raspberry at the time of recording. And uh, the resource requirement is minimum it need a two core, and uh, it need a 4 GB of RAM. Storage should be 15 GB. For this demonstration, I'm using Ubuntu 20.04 version, and I have already set up the operating system as per the mentioned requirement. Let me quickly show you the system resource which I allocated. So I have allocated a two CPU core as per the requirement, and memory I have allocated the 4 GB of it, and the storage is I allocated is 16 GB. So as per the requirement, I have just made it with it. Let's see how this works. You can open the suspicious link using Chasm web browser. It is a container separated from your host mission. Whatever you do and download remain in the container. It is a temporary. Once you closed, everything will be gone. It is time to set up the Chasm workspace. As a first step, we are going to create a partition table. Partition tables are used as a virtual memory when the system runs out of physical memory. It is recommended. To create a swap partition, these commands have to use it. We will go and quickly execute these commands. Let's go and quickly open the terminal. Okay, so let's go and quickly uh, create a swap partition. So to do that, sudo dd if is equal to dev 0 bs is equal to 1m count so we just giving a 1 gb so 1 gb is 1024 of what is the swap memory is equal to if we are getting it's a swap memory 1 g i b dot swap enter and it will prompt for the password and it is creating the swap partition okay so successfully uh, we have allocated 1 gb for the swap partition let's go and give a permissions for it see sudo ch mode 600 my bad and we will mount and just basically be giving this permission swap 
enter okay permission is given let's quickly create a swap directory and we'll mount this at one one g okay so we just making a directory called swap and uh, mounting this uh, over there so it's done and let's go and quickly mount this one swap on mot 1gib dot swap so now we have successfully allocated the swap quotation let's go and verify it to verify sudo cat proc and swaps so you can see this one so we have created a swap successfully so now we will go and this mount the swap partition in a permanent basis so that whenever you reboot it or again that right so this will be a permanent even though you reboot the machine for n number of times so to do that echo uh, sudo sorry let's start with sudo sudo echo colon slash this is the path right so we have to direct this is the directory gib my bad gib dot swap 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 default zero slash zero sudo t and a, a, and we are going to mount this volume in the fs tab so this is where your permanent mounting if you are mounting anything all your uh, volumes data will be available in fs tab only so let's click enter so now what we as a next step we have to go and download the chasms workspace so to do the first we have to do go to the directory temp directory sudo wget if you don't have a wget you can go and install with the command sudo uh, apt install wget so you will get it but i have already installed this one sudo wget and uh, so just go to the chasm website uh, resource download so this will take you to the community page right click copy the link let's go to the terminal back let's paste the link here and enter so the download is started okay so the download is completed quickly uh, so let's go and see the file yes the file is downloaded successfully so let's extract the file sudo tar extracting the file okay so the file is extracted let's go and quickly confirm that okay the file is extracted successfully let's go to the directory and uh, let's run this bash script so this is an installation script we have to run it uh, please comment below if you need to learn bash script so to do that sudo bash install dot sh and uh, by default it uses port number 443 if you want to change you can do it uh, so it's asking for uh, to accept the license yes okay uh, installation is going on it will take some time and uh, as i said it by default will take the port number 443 if you want to change the port number uh, in the end of the installation uh, when you're running the installation script just use a flag it with i if and l and uh, you can mention the port numbers if you want to use different port numbers you can use it or if you are okay with the 443 just leave it as it is by default it will go to the run so let's wait for the installation to complete once it is complete i'll come back okay so we have successfully installed the chasm workspace 
Please copy these passwords safely because these passwords are important to log in and use the software. Uh, later you can change them but if you forgot or lost this then you have to reinstall the workspace once again. So let's log in, log in with the user user underscore asm dot local let's log in. So these are the docker image already pre-installed and come with it. So there are Brave browser is there, Chrome, Chromium, Firefox, Tor browser, Edge. These are images are pre-installed it, it comes with it. Now we have to configure the web browser container in the existing browser. I'm using Firefox, but it is supported by Chrome, Safari, Internet Explorer and Edge. Go to Firefox browser add-on page and search for ASM and uh, I have already installed that's what I am seeing. Once you have installed it, you will not able to see here uh, add-ons. All you need to go to is go to say add-on and theme and uh, you have to select this three dot. Go to the preference. So here you have to type the chasm URL. So let's go and copy this one. And uh, I'm not changing anything in the open method and I'm just selecting new tab and you can change whatever you prefer. Uh, you, and you can go with the new method also. So let me save it. Okay, so option is saved. Now let's go and try to access the URL. Okay, so here is something URL seems like. So let's try to open, go to the open in chasm link. So you can see that this web page is opening inside the, you can see this IP address. So, so it's opening this inside the chasms works like Firefox container. So we have now successfully we made the browser isolation. Whatever happened here, so if suppose you are licking malicious link and some malware get downloaded whatever happened it remains in here in this container uh, it's isolated so it's not going to infect your browser so if you have a suspicious links or something else you want to check it you can use the chasm tool using this browser isolation technique and uh, it is a safer it's a browser isolation so that prevent your host machines getting infected by clicking malicious link that's it guys i hope you guys like this video and useful if you like this video, please give a like. Please comment your questions and suggestions. If you think this video is interesting, please consider subscribing to this channel and show your support. Thank you all for watching this video. Please follow me on social media platforms for regular updates. And bye for now. Catch you all with an another interesting video.